no, it's not stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's stuck between a sausage and a bacon sandwich. Because if, if he doesn't, you know, if he does apply for this letter to say I, I want to have protection for them, then all. Oh, I see. Yes, is, God, you're right. Of course, you're right. So if, it, if it, I mean, if it got spun the other way, Sajid Javid stops these terrorists from being yeah. executed. He'd get, he'd get what, what I suppose we have to describe as Sadiq Khan. He'd exactly. get accused of of making his decision based utterly fallaciously yeah. on the fact that he's a Muslim. Because if you're a Muslim, you're not allowed agency and freedom of thought, according to the exactly. far right. So he's got nowhere to turn. So you can't blame him. I hadn't thought of that. Go, I hadn't thought of that. Do you think that really came into his thinking? No, I think the guy. Look, at the end of the day, if you if you ask me an honest question, they're not they're not British citizens anymore. They're not a responsibility. So why does he have to do anything? He can just let it go. It's not his it's not his battle to fight anymore. Let the Americans deal with it because they 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 want these guys. I back. presume that this is under, and I'm quite happy to say three words that perhaps we don't say often enough on this program. I don't know the answer to, to, to the question that you pose, but I presume that under the auspices of international law, even though we have revoked British citizenship, there is still some sort of requirement for for British acquiescence to, to, to the American ambition to, to extradite them and put them on trial in a system where the death penalty mm. is present. So, 